My name is Rajiv Sethi. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon uh, at Virginia Mason Medical Center. I uh, finished my medical school at Harvard Medical School and then did my training in general surgery uh, and orthopedic surgery at Massachusetts General Hospital, uh, the Brigham and Children's Hospital in Boston. Uh, after that, I uh, proceeded to the University of California at San Francisco where I did a specialized fellowship in complex spine reconstruction uh, centering on scoliosis, kyphosis, and uh, tumor resection surgery with reconstruction of the spine. And at the University of California, San Francisco, I had the opportunity to really uh, s uh, study and learn from uh, many of the pioneers in my field uh, around uh, not only the research aspects of, of uh, the field, but the technically challenging aspects of the field. The challenges of, of complex spinal surgery and more specifically spinal deformity surgery in adults is, is, is threefold. Number one is, is choosing the correct patient. You need to have a multidisciplinary process in place to choose the correct patient uh, and to uh, stratify all the risk factors uh, prior to surgery. Uh, we've uh, published uh, evidence uh, that that is really a very important part of the process. The second important uh, uh, part of this process is, is um, uh, having an operating room environment that's standardized uh, and, and choosing uh, the operative team. That's your, your co-surgeon, uh, who your anesthesia team is, and who your intraoperative uh, team along the lines of who is a uh, scrub tech, who's a circulator, and how are we planning you know, this, this event. It's kind of like a symphony with so many people helping out. So I think we've, we've pioneered uh, a special approach at Virginia Mason. We've published this approach. It's called the Seattle Spine Team Approach. Uh, and that looks at several aspects of delivering care to these patients that's very different than uh, many other places around the country. This is a fairly new approach to treating uh, uh, some of the more, more severe adult deformities. And uh, we are involved at the national and international level with academic societies and pushing knowledge forward. And I've uh, been lucky to give grand rounds and, 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 and uh, lectures on these topics at multiple institutions around the country. And we see bits and pieces of this now being uh, 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 you know, instituted at other places. But uh, the approach was really born here, and, and it really uh, has, has gone through several years of, of, of iteration. And uh, at this point, uh, I, I believe uh, it, it is the standard of care for, for treating these patients in our community. So these are, are uh, very large operations with uh, well-known risks uh, and also well-known benefits. Uh, I think that Virginia Mason is a great place to have these operations because we have a long history uh, with uh, quality improvement in these types of cases. We also have a, a long history of taking care of, of a large number of patients with these diagnoses so that we can effectively uh, utilize our teams uh, utilize our uh, entire network uh, to support the patient, not only in the preoperative process, but you know, in the postoperative process, uh, to make sure that they get the best care uh, possible uh, to optimize their result. So many of many of these cases, I find the patients uh, before uh, surgery are uh, extremely debilitated uh, in terms of basic uh, functional walking. Uh, doing activities of daily living, they, they can almost tell you down to the T how many minutes or hours they can stand up and then have to, have to actually sit down, either due to the fact that their legs are collapsing uh, from pain or weakness. And so giving people the ability to uh, not be boxed in like that is probably the, the best uh, thing for me as a, as a surgeon to see them uh, uh, be able to do their activities of daily life again and also to uh, have a more predictable quality of living. Um, I th so I, I would say that uh, the number one reason to choose a, uh, a surgeon or the surgeon's hospital uh, uh, should be uh, based on uh, what their quality indices are for, for doing these larger reconstructions or large operations. They should have some metric of, of, of success at reducing complication rates, at reducing readmissions, and have data around uh, uh, patient satisfaction. And I feel that we have uh, not only been the first place to do that in many of these arenas, uh, we are well known in the national press uh, for large contracts that come from large payer groups around providing spine care in an ethical and evidence-based way. And I think that uh, when choosing a provider or choosing a medical center, that should be the top priority for the patient.